Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Restock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Robots in Disguise Prowl. This is part, I think it's sort of like the Armada line, I'm not exactly sure. Very nice looking police car, but Lamborghini-esque. Not the Prowl that we're used to though. That's Prowl. And yeah, bilingual, trilingual. I don't know what the deal was back in the day with these things. Level of transformation isn't too difficult. It's a three out of four. So these other Autobots, they look weird, x -Bron. Those are the stats, and if you really want to read it, uh, I don't remember. Okay, right on. Not much in the way of the package. Deluxe size packaging. All right, so there's good old Prowl, looking good. He's looking really good, actually. For deluxe size figure, not bad. I like the uh, color of the paint apps. Oh, and these little missiles actually attach here. Kind of neat. And these missiles are just held on. They don't really fire. You know, they you can push them out. Wow, I didn't know it would fly that far. But yeah, that's all you have to do is just push them. So, good looking car. Good looking car. Rolls all right. Robot extras are well hidden. Looks like Mirage from the bottom. You can kind of tell. I like this and the doors actually do open slightly and it does kind of look like and I'm doing this because we're going to part of the transformation is that it does kind of look like it has seats in there but not quite all right well since I already started transforming them I like this mode I really do give it eight and a half out of ten the paint apps are good I like the paint the Mac mock alert I like the big Autobot symbol the gold paint finish good stuff gold rims nice and even decided to put the mufflers. That is a good, nice touch. That's a nice little extra touch. Definitely like this. Spoilers. Yeah. All right. For transformation, take that off. We'll, we'll put that off later. So we're going to open up that. Then first thing we're going to do, open up the hood. And these are the legs right here. And then collapse the bonnet down. There we go. And then the legs just accordion out. And he's got really spindly legs, and that r really irritates me. And we're going to put this away here. Yeah, just like that. Alright, and these are going to become skirt pieces, so the car doors just scroll them or fold them down. Then we can push this up, there we go, into place. We want to rotate the legs. The pseudo chest piece will go down like that. Rotate these up a little later. We want to rotate the head. All right, skirt pieces. Okay, and we're going to separate the back here. And it's kind of weird. We're going to rotate the head. Good looking head. No nope, light piping though. Looks like it might have wanted to try to do that, but no. Arms are going to fold down. So, just like that. It's a weird double joint, and it works. And this big one, yeah, it's just weird. There we go. If you want, you can put this... I like to keep this as a sort of a shield. It works in that, but you can, the instructions do say this, rotate it under underslung if you really want to. I don't like that. Turn the, what do you call that? I like it the other way. Kind of like a shield. It works. All right, there are two slots on the arms to attach this. Just on the right arm. And I want to tell you, with such spindly legs, yeah, also rotate the, the legs forward. There we go. For some spindly legs, he actually stands up. It surprises me. <laughs> it really does. Not bad. The robot mode does have a lot of kibble. 
You got that in the back, which is hidden pretty well, I must say. I, I like the accordion effect here. The skirt pieces, I really am not a big fan of the legs, but it does give them good articulation. The hip is on a ball joint, and you can definitely move them. Single joint on the knee, not quite 90 degrees, and a ball joint on the feet. Arms are weird. It does move up and down on the shoulder. It is on a ball joint, so you can see that right there. Pain ups are fantastic, actually. Weird double joint on the arm, which makes it swivel on the ball joint and also can move it up and down if it was like... So you got pretty good articulation. Weird swivel joint on the elbow and a ball joint. And then it's another joint. So you got great articulation in the arms. It's pretty hard to pose them other, but it works. Size comparison, there he is. Slightly shorter than a deluxe, and even when it's crouching down, it's not that bad. So you can get them in decent poses, and I'm really surprised that his spindly little legs can hold him up. That's not looking too bad. He gave it eight and a half for this one, but with all the extra junk, oh, and I really do like the colors there. We got red and blue. Extra junk on the side, six and a half, why not? Not horrible. He does have great Autobot signals here. Not a horrible figure, and I do really like the head. The paint apps are fantastic. Uh, I think Armada really did well, or our idea, whatever this line is. Robots in Disguise. Not to confuse with the no, new Robot in Disguise. Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.